Hey everyone, today I'm going to be repainting the little front grills on my 2002 Porsche Boxster. First we got to remove the bumper, uh, which I will go through how to do. And then we're going to take out the actual grills so it's easier to paint. I'm going to mask them off. Um, I'm going to sand them up first, mask them off, and then paint them. And then reinstall it and we'll see how they look. I decided to go with a gunmetal gray. I think it just matched the car better and add a little bit of an accent. Um, I think you could either go black and be fine or like a light silver, but I went with the gray just to be safe. I went ahead and put my car up on ramps just to make accessing underneath a little bit easier as well as accessing this panel here to better get at this screw and a few of the attachments that hold the bumper on. There's also a screw right here you're gonna have to remove. And I think that's the screw you have to remove um, by removing this panel here to make it a little bit easier. So the first step is to remove the bumper. I've already got it started just cause I wanted to make sure I gave the correct information. The first thing is to remove these and then remove this screw here. There's a screw right there, which you have to access through um, the little wheel well panel here. The next thing you gotta do is you have to remove these screws here and the trim piece on top. The trim piece is easy, it's just these little like plastic screws that just kind of barely hold it in. And then you remove the two real screws and you do the same thing you did over there, over here, remove that and remove the one through the wheel well. And then the next step, and then it should come free, is you wanna remove the screws that are held in here over here there's one back there and all the screws that you see underneath that use a torch bit and then as you can kind of see the bumper is already coming loose and that should give us access to these panels here the next thing you want to do to remove this is you're going to want to carefully go along the edge and undo each one of these clips uh, be careful as i kind of damaged this one but barely so it should still work because they are 20 years old as you can see, this one's still in, and I remove this one using that method. I haven't made a video on this, but as a side note, I'm gonna add, if you want, I would highly recommend cleaning out your radiators. It's not all that hard. You gotta do the same thing, remove the bumper. Um, and then you're gonna wanna remove these little screws. There's four of them, I believe. There, um, there, and the two right here, and like right up here. And then all you're gonna do is remove, once you take that off, you'll be able to see the whole radiator. Then you're gonna wanna take this screw off and there's one in there and then just slowly, carefully bend it out of the way and you'll see a ton of leaves back there. Um, it's kind of pretty crazy, uh, but remove that and you'll see a lot like better cooling from your car, especially on hot days. The next thing we gotta do is clean them off. As you can see, there's a bit of dirt, um, cobwebs and this stuff. So I wanna get that all clean and then we'll paint. So get the prep done and then we'll paint. As we can see by washing it, it already looks surprisingly better. Um, the main thing I want to paint is just this stuff there. When it gets dry, it looks really inconsistent and a little dull, as you could see from the original photo. Um, I'm going to prep the other one, and then we'll be back for painting. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do, of course, is dry it off, make sure it's nice and dry. And then we're going to take some alcohol wipes, wipe it down to get rid of all the oil or residue so that the paint sticks best. So now that they're all dry, um, I'm probably gonna sand select spots just to get it a bit smoother so that paint adheres. But after that, I think they're ready to paint.
Just finished painting them. I think they look pretty good. Um, this is the first, this is like the second coat I've done. Um, waiting for it to dry, and then we'll see what it looks like on the car when they're ready to be installed. Now, now that they are freshly painted, just do the same thing as you did to take them off. I got the prong, I gotta be a little careful because it took the paint off there. Um, I'm just gonna touch it up, but I would just be really careful about that. But I think it looks pretty good. It's a nice, it actually matches the color of the car pretty good. And then to do the bumper, you just put it back on the same way you did before. Here is the final product after everything's put together. It matches pretty closely to the paint. This is the seal gray. The paint that I used was gunmetal. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I think the major benefit is that this look faded up close. Like from a distance it didn't look bad, but up close it looked faded. And now it looks pretty uniform, which is nice. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And we'll do our best to respond. Thank you.